Good morning, welcome to Breakfast with Ben Thompson and Nina Warhurst. Our headlines this morning. Good morning to you. It's Sunday the 27th of September. Our top story this morning, Labour is calling on the government to promise university students that they will be able to go home in time for Christmas. Thousands of students across the UK are being forced to self-isolate after a rise in coronavirus infections. Earlier this week, the Health Secretary for England, Matt Hancock, refused to rule out a ban on people returning home for holidays. The government said it was monitoring the situation closely. Our political correspondent, Jonathan Blake, has more. Later, and we'll also hear from more students who are in lockdown. That's just after seven o'clock this morning. And we're also going to speak to Glasgow University's chief operating officer about the measures that they have put in place. Next, US President Donald Trump has announced his nominee to fill the Supreme Court seat left vacant by the death of the Liberal judge Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Well, if Judge Amy Coney Barrett is confirmed by the Senate, the Conservative-leaning justices will hold a 6-3 to three majority on America's highest court, and that's for the foreseeable future, as Nomia Iqbal reports. There are concerns that the 10pm curfew that's been placed on pubs and restaurants in England and Wales could put their future into doubt. Yeah, the pub chain Green King has said trade has dripped significantly since the restrictions came into force. Katie Austin reports. 16 people have been arrested and nine officers injured following demonstrations in central London against coronavirus restrictions. Sir David Attenborough has been hosted by the Duke of Cambridge for a private viewing of his new documentary at Kensington Palace. William. You didn't watch Bake Off, did you? This week? No, I'm not, I'm not. I think I'm the only person in the country who didn't tune in for That's Bake allowed. Off the day. I, I waited, so I watched it yesterday morning, so I kind of had to avoid any spoilers. But you kind of missed these pictures of some amazing yes, I did profiles, including online. Sir David Attenborough, who is in there. I'm not going <laughs> to... Well, he's supposed to be that one. <laughs> Uh, Clearly. So there's some rather dubious uh, portraits were done on Bake Off this week. But um, we were just discussing in the office a little earlier how lovely it is because it is exactly the sort of antidote to all the horrible stuff that's going on right now. It was a joyous hour of television. Uh, just talk me through... That's Freddie Mercury. So I Freddie Mercury discussing how wonderful it is because they've been able to do the series this year by all locking down together. So they've been mm. in their own bubble uh, and they were able to hug each other. Um, yeah. So real team spirit, real nice hugs, real fun going on. Uh, Do you know, for need. like light telly, last night I watched um, the Little Mix Search I for the saw Band. This was on. I've not watched it. It was fantastic, and yeah. again, just seeing people interacting closely and cuddling yeah. one another. They've had to wait yeah. to to broadcast the series because of COVID, but it was just really great TV. It feels like really some uplifting. sort of normality, which is what yeah. we're doing right now, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Um, you're watching Breakfast. It's coming up to quarter past six. Let's check in with Sarah for a look at the weather this morning. Good morning. Oh, where are we there, Sarah? Behind you. Good morning. Real mix. Uh, Sarah, thank you. More from you a little later. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, we will be back uh, with the headlines at half past six. Now on breakfast, time for the film review. Thank you, Sarah. I'm delighted at the opportunity to stick the heat in on yesterday. Ugh. Yes. Full blast. You're not alone. No, I know. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I get it that you just put it on when it's cold, but there is a moment, it's quite a moment, isn't it, that you realise that it's downhill for me. the champagne. <laughs> get what, it on, nice and Heating and the champagne. <laughs> the cold champagne, warm house, that's what you mean. Uh, now on breakfast, though, it's time for the travel show. <laughs> that oh, is amazing, isn't it? Have you ever story. done one? No. And I think That's I would... That's a firm no, isn't it? You know, Are you well, sure? <laughs> I think, well, at my heart, I do sort of, you know, three paces and I'll be halfway around. But I think uh, the motivation that you need of all of the crowds and all of that... I mean, they're talking about family supporting them there, but I bet there's such a buzz of having all the crowd there And also, up. when you've got a personal story like that, it's going to give you that impetus, isn't it, to yeah. get you around. Um, uh, let's check in with Sarah for a look at the weather. Good morning, morning. to you. What have we got behind you now? 